Name redesigned the Muso 2 from the ground up. Welcome one and all, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider and I am stoked. This is the second generation Muso from Name and it is a huge step up. From the outside, it may look pretty much the same, but Name actually redesigned 95% of this guy and it definitely pays off. The feature set is ridiculous and I know we're just beginning this review, but heads up, this is possibly the best all-in-one hi-fi system you can pick up. Forget the Sonos, forget the Marshall speakers. If I was picking up one speaker that I really want to do everything with, this would probably be the one to do so. And that includes replacing my original first generation Muso. Now again, a lot of this is very similar. So the design looks pretty similar. You have the swappable grills on the front that come in a variety of colors, including olive green, peacock blue, and terracotta red. But a couple important changes were made to the outside and a ridiculous number of changes were made to the inside. So hitting up the design first, obviously the grills have been slightly redesigned for the new body. Inside, if you take off that grill, you can see all of the whippers and tweeters that are hiding behind it that are really powering this thing. It actually has more power now going from 450 to 470 watts of output. So a smaller step up, but definitely an increase in output. The inside was redesigned to allow it to be more rigid, which kind of muffles uh, resonance and vibrations that you don't want, but it also adds more space. So there's 13% more cabinet room on the inside which definitely pays off in terms of bass. On the side, you have the USB port, which you can use to plug in USB media. On the bottom, you have a 10 100 Ethernet jack, an audio input, just 3.5 millimeter, an optical audio input, and for the first time this time, we have HDMI arc. So that's pretty cool because you can use this as a sound bar. The downside is it's a little bit tall for that, but it does work now. It's so much easier to control using arc rather than the optical or other inputs. The oversized control wheel remains on the top, as does the acrylic base on the bottom that lights up. Both those lights are dimmable, so you don't have to worry about that. And there's been a proximity sensor added to the top, so as you approach the ring, it'll go ahead and light up. It's kind of a nice handy little effect. Controls, very similar. We have the favorites bar on the top. There are all those favorites that you can program in using the application. Along the bottom, you can choose between all the inputs that you need to jump between. Easily access those. You have play, pause controls, uh, back, forward, all the kind of normal stuff that you come to expect. And of course, rotating the wheel will adjust the volume up or down. We did briefly talk about the inputs a bit ago, but this also supports a bunch of additional things like Tidal using Hi-Fi, uh, Spotify Connect, AirPlay 2, and they've actually increased the audio or the Wi-Fi performance. So now it's dual band Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So a lot of people are going to be streaming with this. It was really nice to see that. Now we are Apple Insider, so we do have to talk about AirPlay 2 for a moment and some of the features it can do if you're not familiar. Uh, the easiest one is probably multi-room multi, uh, multi -room support, essentially. So you can cast to any AirPlay 2 speakers at the same time. So if I have this here, I have some Sono systems, I've got a safe and sound on my ceiling. Uh, any AirPlay 2 speakers I have can all be streamed to at the same time. It works very well and uh, AirPlay 2 adds a lot of new buffers that allow it to stream a bit better than AirPlay 1, but both the this and the original Muso both have AirPlay 2, so that's still good to see. Other things you can do with AirPlay 2 that we didn't touch on with the original Muso is now added support for HomeKit and the different things you can do there. Jumping into the Home app, you tap on Add Accessory, say you don't have the pairing code, you'll see the Muso speaker appear, and it'll go ahead and add it. You can then give it a new name if you'd like, and choose an appropriate room within your house. Now that allows a lot of really great control using Siri as well as the Home app or other third-party home applications. For real fun, you can actually add automation routines. For instance, you can have it automatically shut off the speaker when you leave the house, or when you arrive home, it can play a playlist for when you arrive home, or maybe when you wake up in the morning, you can automatically have it wake you up with a energizing playlist, or you can just have everything set to a scene with Siri, so when you go to work out, say, the, you know, Siri catchphrase, and then go ahead and say whatever scene you've set up, which can automatically dim the lights or turn on the lights and play a certain playlist that you like to do when you're in the gym, whatever it may be. So it's really great to see how you can control these speakers through AirPlay 2, as well as through HomeKit, and of course, through Siri. Now, audio quality. So we're not gonna get really nitty gritty with the audio quality. There's a lot of preferences here and we're not gonna be able to play you any samples, licensing reasons for popular music and everything, which I'm sure you guys really wanna see. So if you can, try one of these out for yourself. But hands down, this speaker sounds amazing. The original Muso sounded phenomenal and this is an updated version of that. 
You can easily tell the difference in the base, which has more control than the previous generation. The DSP was upgraded, the signal processor, which now does 2000 MIPS, which is a million instructions per second, compared to only 150 from the first gen. So there's a huge improvement in the DSP, and it now has a new algorithm that'll compensate where it is in the room. It's not quite up to snuff to HomePod or Sonos true play in that regard, but it's at least something in there. And you can definitely tell the difference when you place this in different parts of the room. This sounds amazing regardless of the genre that we are testing out from rock and when we were going to something stripped down and simple with vocals and acoustics it would send shivers down your spine all of the amazing acoustic performances can be controlled from within the muso app you can get into everything you need to including setting internet favorites changing the inputs manually adjusting the volume upgrading the software all the kind of usual stuff it's a very simple stripped down app which is pretty much exactly what it should be compared directly to the original muso this has a significantly larger soundstage there seems to be more definition in the nuances of the music bass is definitely punchier you can feel it in your gut but it is also more controlled than the original as well if you were buying all these components separately the speaker the amp uh, your server client everything you're gonna pay a lot more than this thing does now it does cost a little bit more than the original muso which is a bit of a bummer but considering how much was redesigned how much better this sounds how much better the performance is overall we can't say anything wrong with this thing it may be hard to use as an actual sound bar and the inputs on the bottom is kind of a hindrance but otherwise this is a phenomenal speaker grab one at the link below hey everyone did you guys like that video be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see and follow apple insider on all social media channels if you want the best prices on any apple gear check out the apple insider price guide that is updated daily and until next time We'll see you later.